This is the We All Juggle Knives channel. Okay, so there I was surfing Amazon looking for pellet rifles. And I see this Stoger. Stoger is actually part of the Beretta group. The Beretta group of companies includes Beretta, the famous Italian firearms company. Welcome to my review of this rifle. It was $150. It's got a wood stock, right? It's got an integrated uh, cheek rest. It's got this butt pad. All right. Oh, it's got these adjustable rear sight. And it's got a fiber optic front sight. The maximum velocity, they say, is 810 feet per second. But that's going to be with really light pellets. Fortunately, we are going to be shooting some light alloy pellets today. Now, this is chambered for .177 caliber. And I have had comments, oh, we prefer big bore air rifles. I, I agree with you there, man. But I'm go going to review uh, ones like this occasionally because nobody, like no 10-year-old starts off with a 30 cal. You know, and new people are entering our community every day. So this might maybe be for your grandkids or something like that. It's a brake barrel. So break the barrel, pull it like this. All right, you put your pellet in there and you're going to straighten your barrel. This has an automatic safety. That is a safety. Push that forward and it is now ready to fire. Let's do it up. One shot, one kill. All right, I like this rifle, it's fun. At this time, I'm going to roll in some time-lapse footage when I was uh, at the indoor range. It's only a maximum distance of like seven meters, right? So it was, it was close range, but I just wanted to get a feel for how it was shooting. So I shot a bunch at the indoor range. I'm going to roll in that footage right now. Just having a little plinking fun. Let's uh, try to take out some cans. I hope you're all doing well these days, definitely. I like to get out here and just have a little fun like when I was, when I was a kid. Remember when you would just take your air gun, shoot out in the woods. Remember the automatic safety. Sorry for any background noise, by the way. Real world conditions out here. But yeah, I hope you're all keeping busy and having fun in these tough times. I do enjoy my air gun hobby, definitely. Oh, that one did a little dance. That one spun around, you see that? I must have hit it off to the side. Okay, one more. One shot, one kill, YouTube. And there you go. Okay, YouTube, it's time for the spam test. I have here a can of spam light. This is going to represent a squirrel or a rabbit or some other small game. And the tin part will just make it uh, increase a little bit of the difficulty. I'm going to shoot this with an RWS pointed alloy hunting pellet and we'll check the penetration. It hit it. Okay, that one hit like the bottom. I gotta shoot it again. I wanna get it, you know, a clean hit, not like on the bottom or the top. Okay, see the first one, it skidded, skidded like down there. That was freaking stupid. So, second one. So it went in there. Okay. Boom. And then... Alright, I'm not sure if it went through. Did it get out through there? Okay, YouTube, so I did take out the disgusting spam, and there was no pellet in it or in there. 
So the pellet actually did shoot all the way through. It went through there, it went through the spam, and it squeezed out that, that little hole right there. So th the pellet actually did shoot all the way through. Oh, that's okay, that's good information to know. Now this does have a rail if you want to mount a scope. And this actually came with a scope, but uh, I don't need the scope for, for where I'm shooting. I'm shooting th within 30 meters or less. And uh, I don't really need the scope for that. All right, YouTube, I set up the vegetable can again, 20 meters. There you go. Okay, I'm, I'm really getting the hang of uh, these sights here. Definitely having fun with this rifle. I would definitely recommend this as what they call a junior rifle or a youth rifle for teaching begin really beginners of any age. You know, grandma wants to shoot. This thing is very easy, very easy to operate. It does not take much strength at all to pull. I don't even have to brace it when I pull. I can hold it and pull like that. So um, even smaller people will easily be able to operate this particular brake barrel, definitely. Okay, YouTube, you see those cans down there? We're gonna shoot them from back here. One down, one down. This is a pretty sweet little rifle, I have to say. Pretty sweet little rifle. There you go. I'm gonna walk way the hell over there and I'm gonna shoot this styrofoam head. Wish me luck. Okay, what's up? So as you saw, we took out Mr. Head. According to my laser range finder, that was uh, 25 yards. Of course, it's a pretty big target, but remember, I'm not using a scope. Okay, some thoughts on this rifle. Well, number one, if I had it to do over again, I would probably get the synthetic stock. I almost always prefer a wood stock, but in this case, because the value of this rifle is how compact it is, I think the uh, ease of carry would be uh, even better if it, if it had a light stock like the synthetic stock, okay? Also, the synthetic stock model is cheaper. If you get it without the scope, it's only $100. This was $150 with the scope, I don't think I really need the scope because I shoot at close range 30 meters or less definitely because this terrain, there, there's not like that many long uh, shots to be had. So if I had it to do over again, I would get the synthetic stock, no scope. These sights are, are perfectly fine for um, 30 meters or less for me. And uh, so yeah, I think that would be a great value because that model is only $100. I'll include a link to that one as well. This is the type of rifle that you can just walk through the woods with and take, just have fun. Just take shots of opportunity and it's not going to weigh you down. It's a fun gun. Now as far as hunting with this rifle, you could kill like small things like a small bird, maybe a frog, possibly a rabbit or a squirrel depending on, you know, which pellets you're using and uh, shot placement. All right, I definitely hope that you enjoyed this review. Check out the links below. Subscribe if you like air guns. I also cover knives, swords, machetes, tomahawks, all kinds of stuff. It's a party. It's a party here. Subscribe.